Hello everyone, welcome to the Django tutorial series. In this tutorial step, we're going to build, tag, and push our Docker image to Amazon Elastic Container Registry through GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions help you build, test, and deploy applications, but you can also use it to automate other tasks common to your developer workflows. Triaging and managing issues, automating releases, collaborating with your user base, and more. You can say it's an alternative to Jenkins or CircleCI. As you can see, I'm already logged into my GitHub repository. Now I'm going to click on Actions. You can see on my screen, there are a lot of integration workflows available in GitHub Actions, but we will be using a manual workflow. The manual.yml file is auto-generated, but we're not going to use this. Instead, I will be providing my own custom workflow. Let me give you a brief idea of what this workflow is going to do. First, the workflow is going to run on the latest version of Ubuntu. Next comes the steps which are going to perform multiple operations like, first we will be configuring AWS credentials. We need to set up an access key and a secret access key in IAM. Second, we're going to log into our ECR. Third, we will check out code so our workflow can access it. Fourth, we will get the latest tag. And finally, we're going to build, tag, and push Docker images in Amazon ECR. To work with ECR, we need to browse AWS Actions, which contains starter templates for multiple services and is being maintained by AWS itself. For our tutorial, we need the Amazon-ECR-Login repository. To use this action, we need to follow the steps provided in the README file. To work with Amazon ECR, first we need to set up an IAM user. An AWS Identity and Access Management IAM, user is an entity that you create in AWS to represent the person or application that uses it to interact with AWS. As you can see on my screen, they are recommending what permission you need to provide to the IAM user. I also recommend following the IAM best practices as per the documentation. Let's open the AWS Management Console and search for IAM. I will create a new user and name it Django-ECR and will enable programmatic access. I will not provide any permission, rather I will create an inline policy later. Also, I don't need any tags, I'm going to ignore it and finally I click on create user. Once the user has been successfully created, you will receive the access key ID and secret, secret access key. Keep it confidential and don't share it with anyone. We need to set up these credentials in our GitHub action. I'll go back to my repository and commit the new workflow. Next, I will click on Settings, Secrets. Here I will be providing information related to my AWS key access keys along with ECR repository information. It's much better to use GitHub secrets as they are encrypted instead of directly using plain text in the code base.
We have successfully created a private repository in ECR and named it as demo. As you can see in the manual.yml file that we have hard-coded the repository name to be demo. Instead, you can configure it as a secret. So you don't need to modify your YAML file in the future in case you change your repository name. We've done all the configuration. Now I will create a new release and name it 1.0. Once a new release is created, then immediately the build process will begin. As you can see, the build process has begun. Oops, the build failed. I forgot to assign a permission to our IAM user. Let's go back to the AWS Management Console. We are currently in the IAM section. I'll be creating a new policy, which will allow the user to access the ECR. I'm going to provide permission according to my project requirements but I would always suggest to provide the least amount of privileges and keep rotating your keys frequently. Always focus on best practices. Looks like I forgot to add the get authorization token. Let me add it quickly to our policy document. Okay, finally, our build is initiated successfully. Let's wait for it to complete.
As you can see on the screen, the image is getting pushed to the ECR registry. Great, our deployment is successful. Let me verify that in the ECR console. Yes, the 1.0 tag is reflecting. Let me try once more. This time I will create a new tag with 1.1 as the version. The build has been initiated. I'll make it fast forward. The second build is also successful. Awesome, the second image with tag 1.1 is also reflecting in the ECR repositories. I hope you now have the basic knowledge how to set up a workflow and initiate an automated build and deployment process. This is what actually happens in the real software world, but over there you'll be interacting with complex workflows. The main goal of this tutorial series was to provide you some brief knowledge of what actually happens during the software development process, starting from development, testing, and finally until deploying the application in production. Don't get overwhelmed, take your time, it's not a race. I know there are lots of topics that I didn't cover in this course, but that was not the goal of this tutorial series. This tutorial is only for those people who are interested in working with Django or just beginning with it and having some basic knowledge of AWS. If you want to dig deeper, there are a lot of good courses out there on the internet. Go and check them out. Never give up, keep learning, and keep growing.